Hi, welcome. This is Qtile again, but this time it's on a laptop. So it's an old machine that I have lying around here, Intel second generation core. I believe it has two cores here. And uh, we could actually do something like that. Um, Gtop is maybe installed. No, let's have a look. Yay. So four cores, CPU one till four. Fine, the video is about the latest Qtile config that we have. When you um, download it from today, as of today, update and then a scale, you get something different up here. And there was a question on uh, the forum, it said, hey, we have a laptop, uh, could you add a battery to it? So yes, we have four options for a battery. You go to your Qtile settings, so in my case, homeeric.config Qtile, and we have here this, um, well, the, this is the general configuration, but we have added two new guys. But this is the guy for Arc battery, but never mind. This is just there because of the code. You don't need to change anything in there. What you need to do is go into config pi and uh, not open it with Genie, not a good idea. So right mouse click, open with, open with another application. Uh, where are you? Sublime text, use as default for this kind of file. And then okay, you'll see why I choose this one. So there's a lot of things hashtagged out and that's because of the fact that we have widgets. So new things up here in the menu. And we have here a widgets separator, a text box and a memory, etc, etc. But we're talking about battery. So choose battery option one or vertical icons. So if you want this one, then you need to check out the code and it says it's start here. This is the thing that starts it and this is the last thing that ends it. So I'm gonna go over here, comment, toggle comment, and there you go. This code will be working. If I do, control S and a super shift R. Watch out this thing up here. And there is something here in between. As you can see, there is something missing or vertical icons. So that's not, um, maybe we should do another reload, not working. Mm, let me think, why is that? Battery, vertical icons, line width, everything looks good. But, got it. <laughs> That's just a separator. What was I thinking? Sep, separator. So what I need, of course, is an, is an icon. So this guy needs to come with it. So, okay, comment, toggle comment. It's still early in the morning. Control save, super shift R. And there we go. So we have an, uh, an, an separator and in between there's the battery icons and I believe this comes from us. So battery icons vertical. So these are our choice of icons. And we have here another option. So that's option one. Here it says choose, etc. Meaning you don't need to hashtag that out. That out. That's, that's just uh, text. So it's just this that you need. Again, this is the separator. So comment, toggle. Control S, so Alt, uh, Super, Shift, R. And we have a separator extra, but now the widget comes. So from here till here, we need to hashtag it out, comment, toggle comment, Control, Save, Super, Shift, R. That's number two, if it works, because this is just a separator, right? And now again, we go for this guy. This is the actual code, comment, toggle comment, save super shift r and we have been skipping things here this is the one we need to show you as well we just skipped a line and that's the line we need for the other in between those two tags uh, separators so this is one separate uh, option one option two option three all right so another option battery four here option four and let's do it all at once so from here to here to here Let's get this commented out, toggle comment, control save, super shift R. So it's four things for you guys to, to know. And if I just pull out my, uh, my cord here, my power um, cord, then you'll see pop-ups coming up here. You'll see this change. This says now nicely full, but this icon will never change. Just a, a font actually, font awesome, just the thing. So this will never change, but if you don't mind, image says it, it becomes numbers and percentages, I believe, then it's okay. 
Um, so this is another design. These icons will change, these icons will change, these icons will change. So three uh, icons, the first three will change and the fourth will not change since it's just, well, a font actually. Okay, so that's um, about batteries. So if you like one of them, you keep one of them. I don't suggest you keep all of them. So it's again a study how to, to find it back, to, to, to go back. So Ctrl Z maybe is a good thing to do. And then Ctrl S and then Super Shift R. Let's have a look. Let's say I want to keep this one. It's already green here. So that's the horizontal one. That's this guy. I think that's the, the most pleasing in, in the design of this um, uh, desktop. But it's of course so personal. So you choose whatever you like. But it starts probably from here till here. Let's have a go at it. Command, toggle, control, save, super, shift, R. And there we have it. So we have just one icon. That's enough for me to show me that everything is okay. And you'll see the icons change. If you want to know how they'll change, well, try it out. But check it out. So we have the horizontal things. So it will become worse and worse. You see the coloring. And at the end, it's all red. And this is charging, etc. This is no battery. If you don't have any battery at all, it will display this one, like on a desktop. And the others are here. So that's the vertical one. And some code that's in here. So, like I said, we don't need it. It's nice to, to read it and to check it out. But basically, we don't really need it at all. So that's this code. You see it's opened up in a different workspace in here. So you have to think, hey, nothing is happening. I'm clicking, I'm clicking, I'm clicking. It's on the other workspace. <laughs> so this is nice to know, nice to have, but it's not, don't need it. You know, uh, need to edit anything. It's just these guys, config punt or dot pi. All right, that's it for me. That's a video early in the morning for you guys to know what's going on.